Hey guys, welcome to Riding with Mark. I got Jeff Gilliland with me and he's going to do a live performance in the car. And be sure to stay to the end because he's going to try the Fiery Five Challenge oh as boy. well. Oh man, I'm nervous about that. <laughs> Come on, ride share with Mark. I am extremely privileged to have my friend Jeff Gilliland with me today. He is the associate pastor and the worship leader at the church that we both attend, which is River of Life Community Church in Hudson. He's also an accomplished uh, singer, songwriter, recording artist, and he's got a couple of uh, worship albums that I really enjoy. And I asked him if he could join me for a ride and share with us some of his music. It's awesome to be here with you, Mark. This is so fun. I love your channel, man. It always is a good time. I'm always laughing and interested to see the crazy stories that you have and the games you're running with your with the people riding with you. It's awesome, man. It's the best. So thanks for having me. All right. Well, I asked uh, Jeff to share a couple songs, but the first one is just my favorite off of his last album. It's called Strongholds, and it's kind of meaningful to us and to our fellowship, the church that we go to. Maybe, Jeff, you could explain a little bit of what it's about. Yeah, sure. So I, I wrote this song a few years ago for our congregation, for the community of people that we worship together with. And at our church, we, we run a class that talks about living in the freedom that we've been, that Jesus has given us. And it goes through and talks about identifying God's original design for your life, the way he created you to be. But it also goes through and, and talks about ways that, that the enemy of our soul has tried to distract us from that original design, to try to try to twist it and try to um, take us away from what, what God's really planned and put, it, put inside us. So we talk about the authority that we've been given in Christ to kind of tear down uh, those, we call them strongholds. Any idea or belief that you, you kind of hold in your heart that has set itself against what, what God has for you. Uh, it's based off of a scripture in 2 Corinthians 10. Paul talks about waging war not the way that people wage war, but using God's mighty weapons to demolish strongholds, these ideas that set themselves up against God. And so this is just a, a, a song that I wrote kind of in response to that, being able to say every stronghold, every every lie that I believe in my heart, I want to come down and I want to receive God's truth over me. So here it is. It's called Strongholds. Your eyes see differently than mine You see my heart restored Beyond I can recognize No matter how deep I've held a false belief truth is strong enough to break its grip on me and every stronghold is coming down all the pride that stands against you coming down and so all the lies that I've agreed with I tear down I renounce the coming down Coming down, the coming down. The God of redemption, you confront my hurt with the love of heaven. And in the midst of every wound, you show me you are present. I have given freely the grace that I receive. Right now I release the ones who offended me. And every stronghold is coming down. All the pride that stands against you coming down. And so all the lies that I down, I renounce the coming down, the coming down, the coming down, no, weights be lifted from my chest, and there's freedom in the air, there's resurrection. 
resurrection from the dead And you keep reaching, you keep reaching out your arms So I will doubt at every power that tries to keep me from your heart oh, Weights being lifted from my chest And there's freedom in the air There's resurrection from the dead Every stronghold is coming down All the pride that stands against you coming down And so all the lies that I've agreed with I tear down, I renounce the coming down, the coming down, the coming down Wow, I just absolutely love that song. It's so rich. Thanks, Mark. It's fun. It's interesting to try to play in the back of a car here. <laughs> I'm sure. You're getting tossed around <laughs> we a little get those bit. those turns and I'm like, oh! This guy just swerved around me and <laughs> ran the stop sign with me, stopped at it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, it's a wild ride. That was from your first album that's available online, everywhere. Yeah, it's, What's it's it everywhere there's streaming mu music. So that album is called There's Only One King. Okay, and then this this is from your new project. Tell us about that project. I'm a part of uh, an organization called Messenger Fellowship, and I wrote this album kind of for them, kind of out of some core values that they have. And so I kind of took e each one of their five, they kind of have some five core values, and uh, I, I wrote a song kind of based on each one of those. So this next song is called Your Prayer For Us. So this is um, a song I wrote based on John 17. This is an interaction between Jesus and the Father and he's actually praying for his disciples and then praying for everyone that would believe uh, in him through their message and his prayer for them is that that they would be one just like he and the Father are one and so the kind of relationship that Jesus has with the Father uh, that's the kind of relationship he wants us to have with each other and with him and so I wrote this song kind of out of that place of, of getting to explore kind of the relationship that that, that Jesus and the Father have together, and then knowing that his prayer for us is that, that we would have that same, uh, that same love. So it's called Your Prayer for Us. Secure and affirmed from the start this is my beloved son Echoed in your heart Until every step you took Was made in trust And all of you was calling out his love And you prayer for us Is that we would know a father like If the blood dripped from your brow And broken you cried out Father, not my will and yours be done And set your eyes in joy beyond the cross And your prayer for us Is that we would know the Father like Yeah. 
So I want to share one more song, but I want uh, people to be able to hear the full uh, recorded mix and everything from your sure. project. So maybe, uh, which song off of the new project uh, would you like to share with our audience? Yeah, so this song is called True Vine, and it's just about the vine and the branches. Jesus says that we are, that, that he is the vine and we are the branches, and if we remain connected to him, we'll bear much fruit. And so the song's about that. Awesome. Check out, this is uh, True Vine. From the project. The project is called While You Can Be Found. Check this out, download it from Apple Music or Spotify or wherever you get your digital music. Everywhere.
Uh, you know, one of the things I know about Jeff is he loves Mexican food. Oh, he loves spicy tacos stuff. every day. <laughs> I did a video uh, last week with our mutual friend, Dion, and uh, we had a blast trying the Fiery Five uh, Jelly Belly uh, Bamboozled Challenge, these hot pepper flavored jelly beans. So um, I'm going to have Jeff try these and, and respond and, and review them for us. So I'm a, li I'm a little nervous. At the same time, I'm like, it's a jelly bean. It's probably not. <laughs> how it's hot can no it be? Yeah. All right. So I've given you a container and, and there's five flavors ranging from lowest to hottest. Okay. And uh, the first one is sriracha flavored. So just two, kinda... two or more is the rule? That's what it's got to yeah, be? Yeah, we did at least two of each. Okay. And then uh, if you want to take four of them no, just I'll to just get a good them. solid uh, sampling. It. I'll take them all, at least for, at least for yeah. this one. We'll Once you get how, on the higher we'll level, we were like chicken right? out. We're like, yeah. okay, we're doing two. <laughs> okay, here, here we go. This is this is number one. This is the sriracha flavor. This, okay. These flavors are really accurate to what the peppers taste like too. Mmm. You know, you wouldn't expect this to be in a jelly bean. <laughs> it is weird, isn't it? Like my mouth says, you should be enjoying like a sweet Easter treat here, but uh, but I'm not. It's just it's just there's a little bit of pain. But you know what? It's not. I'm not like I'm not hurting at all. This is no big deal. This tastes good. I would eat these. All right. So if, I I, if I needed like a a Mexican dessert follow up, this would this so would be sriracha good. jelly beans. Sriracha would be a is nice more like treat. Indian though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it's it's Asian in some form or another. Asian. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a sweet hot. So it works well for a jelly bean. Yeah, all right. So the second one Easy. is green, I believe, right? Those are the jalapenos. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> I am familiar with the jalabano. So you're doing four of these as well? There's done. All right. Let's see. Now, Dion started cheating, and he was chewing like a couple times and just swallowing them. I'm like, mm. you got to get that flavor going. Oh, you got to get it going. I wouldn't say that this is any hotter than the last one. Just a different flavor, yeah. Different flavor. But it does taste like jalapeno, surprisingly. It does taste like jalapeno. It's good. It's good. All right. The third one is a little step up in heat for sure, and it is cayenne. That's the dark red ones. Ooh. All right. You know what, though? I love, like, like Nashville hot chicken and stuff like that, and, and you know, or, or even, like, Frank's hot sauce. Get so I'm, I'm going to be okay with yeah. this. All right. Red is your friend. It means hot, but it's, yeah. Mm. You know, these take a while to kick in, like. Yeah, the heat, the heat follows a little bit, because you taste sweetness. You do taste sweetness with them. There is sugar involved. Mm. Now it's happening. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's reaching a little farther back in there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they start to build on each other. Mm-hmm. You know that's what kind of heat does though. Like mm -hmm. it, it stacks, man. So this is this is why I was asking about if I could just start with the hottest. <laughs> no, then you won't now, taste anything. Probably now I'm like, they're already like starting to swell or whatever happens in your mouth. Wow. <laughs> kind well, of... we're not even doing like waters or cool downs or anything. Oh, I got, I got water for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that cruel. If you can get it, but you should wait till the end if you can. <laughs> really? I don't know. It's up to you. Whoa, wait, I just took a little sip. You're cleansing your palate. I'm, that, I just that, need that's that fair. You're cleansing your palate. Second. Now, Whew, now right. we were taken aback by the jump from, from three to four. Dion and I were surprised at how much of a jump it is to oh, the. Oh, man. Because these are habanero. But, oh, this goes up from here? Uh, it goes up. Oh. It goes up. I mean, like a big jump? For us, it felt like a big jump from three to four. I felt like that was a big jump from two to three. <laughs> it is kind of. All right, so I can do two, though. Yeah, that, yeah, do uh, two of it. Whatever you're comfortable with, at least Ooh. two though. Gotta get you that got me flavor. Sweating here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Mm. 
No, oh, again, it's just it takes forever for that to have to kick in, huh? Oh uh, yeah. You know what? I think since I did, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Starting to feel. Like it wasn't until I actually swallowed them all. Whoo! I like that flavor better though. It's nice. Oh, those habanero ones, man. I would, I could. That's the Mexican flavor. That mm, jalapeno that's and is, habanero. Man. You mix them up and have a snack. Man, I don't know. I think it was because I had four of the other ones. Yeah, you want to eat two more of the habaneros while you're uh, here? <laughs> I mean, you ate two four of everything else, right? I'm like sweating. My nose is running now. I'm like, whoo. Okay. So, number five. So, number I five. I got two of these. This is ghost pepper. <sighs> these, are, these are serious now. So, we did two of these. If you want to be bold, you could just take four. Uh, I, I think. I mean, you are a monster as far as like spice and stuff, I will, right? Uh, I would just do two because <laughs> my tongue is on fire as it is. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, these ones aren't playing around either. <sighs> All right, I don't feel anything yet. I can taste it though. I taste that ghost pepper. Chewing them up. Oh! <laughs> All right. If you're not physically crying, you probably should take the other two. Oh man, I can't, dude. I, 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 it hurts. Wait, it's it. It takes like 15 seconds after you put them in your mouth uh -huh. to when you start feeling the heat. It's like they hid the heat inside the jelly bean. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is hot. All right. Whew. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah. It's honestly the the biggest jump for me was from two to three. Okay. And then my mouth is just on fire since then. <laughs> it's all just a blur after oh. that. <clears throat> all right, I'm going for this water now. Right. Woo wee! 